So uh, give me a little bit of the history of, of New York City Rescue Mission. We, we've heard about them before, but I wasn't aware of how long it's been around. That's Since great. 1872, uh, Jerry and Mariah McCauley uh, founded what they called the Helping Hand for Men. Uh, and a few years later, it was organized as the Macaulay Water Street Mission. Uh, we renamed it the New York City Rescue Mission because we're not on <laughs> Water Street anymore. <laughs> but uh, at any rate, they opened uh, that mission in the fall mm -hmm. of 1872. And uh, from that day forward, uh, they've wanted uh, to uh, develop this vision that Jerry McCauley had while he was in prison. Mm -hmm. He, uh, he was a prisoner, he had done the wrong things in life, and he was from the Lower East Side, so he knew what these people were like. So he wanted a place that people could come into, he could clean them up on the outside, and God could clean them up on the inside. So that same thing is going on to this very day. And I am humbled every time I go into the mission, I see uh, Jerry McCauley's picture up there and his wife, and I realize that this mission was founded by a prisoner whose life had been changed. And, and life-changing things go on at the mission all the time. It's just a wonderful opportunity to reach out and touch hearts, uh, just like Jerry McCauley's mm. heart was uh, touched by the Spirit of God. That's, that's wonderful. And uh, it seems that every uh, mission um, or, or shelter or center has um, its own identity. And, um, right. and it, it seems that this is yours, of sort of like uh, you're looking at many areas of their life, not just their current circumstance. That's right. Uh, every area of their life, uh, we, of course, uh, like I said, we have a learning center. We have a medical clinic and so on, many of those things that are needed, very uh, need, very needful in the lives of people. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, uh, when Macaulay set up this mission, it was really unique. He was what was called the unworthy poor mm -hmm. or the undeserving poor uh, in society. They had plenty of, of places for people to go in 1870s. but. Uh, the, the people in those days said that there's some people that will never change. But Macaulay says, no, I believe mm. that everyone has this opportunity. And that's why he set up the mission for those people that were not deserving of, of help. Wow, that's, that's really amazing, amazing work. And so when someone comes into um, the shelter, can you give us a sense of, you know, how long that turnaround is? You said seven days, but um, you said also that you do, do you do job training or is there other work that... Yes, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I should have carried that forward yeah. in the sense that uh, a transient person who has come there one night and may be gone the next, they can have a bed for seven nights if they've never been there before. But the demand on the beds is such that we have a lottery for those people coming night by night. However, we have a uh, long-term program. 25 of our 100 beds is allocated to uh, men that are on a long-term 12-step program, which offers uh, various steps to it, mm -hmm. getting them up to the point of transition out of the mission, helping them in our learning center to write uh, their resume and... Uh, begin to search for employment. And so we follow them all the way through on that. And, mm -hmm. and we have some many wonderful stories of how those lives have been turned around. That, that's really wonderful. Any, uh, any examples of one story, Joe? When, when, when you hear, and you hear this on a weekly basis, when you hear a guy in the program at the New York City Rescue Mission saying, I haven't seen my daughter in seven years, seven years, and I'm about to see her next week. Or you have a guy that says, I saw my son for the first time in 20 years, and it was like looking in a mirror mm -hmm. at, the, at our graduation ceremonies. That they have blue caps and gowns. It's, uh, you know, you said, how can people help? If the community were to come to our graduation ceremony and welcome these, these guys back into the community, uh, uh, NYC Rescue Mission, uh, we have a Facebook site, yeah. and people can know when, when the graduation ceremonies are. We love when people come in and, and celebrate these accomplishments and these successes. That's, that's really wonderful. So uh, how can, uh, do you think that there's a, a solution to homelessness? Do you feel that there's an answer here? I think it's a one at a, a person at a time mm -hmm. solution. We, uh, we have 100 beds. We're increasing the size of our building. We're adding three floors. 
Kathy Lee Gifford is going to be our honorary chairperson of our capital campaign. And uh, uh, so we just kicked that off just recently. Um, so we want to help additional people. But uh, again, uh, we're, we'll be 200 beds. And the city shelter system uh, offers... Um, uh, beds to about 40,000 people. We're not in competition with that. <laughs> so uh, we treat uh, these people that come to us on a one-at-a-time basis, and we try to meet their individual needs and try to find out what really makes them tick and how can we help them mm -hmm. uh, progress in life. Yeah, that's, that's really good. And what, what kind of things are you hearing from them? And just looking at the overall problem of, of homelessness, you know, what, what is it that they need, you feel? Well, uh, I, the reason I think that we're so overwhelmed at this time with so many people coming to us is the economy, for one thing, and the opportunity for employment. Uh, the jobs aren't there like they used to be, and, uh, and uh, the, we have to be creative to help them find a, mm -hmm. uh, a job, and uh, that's not easy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not easy. And, and certainly with this, um, with the population that you said you served, it, it, you're, you're really working from the ground up in some cases. What kind of jobs do you uh, provide for them or do they get once they complete your program? I think there's a number of jobs. One would be um, security work. Uh, and I mentioned we have professional people that come to the mission, but we have many people that uh, don't have... Uh, any professional background and some that uh, just recently one man uh, came to us and he couldn't read or write wow. but he left our mission reading and writing he said once I was blind mm -hmm. but now I see <laughs> great work that's wonderful that's great Jim Varnhagen Joe Little thank you so much New York City Rescue Mission and thank you for joining us for this edition of Join Our Town I'm Arlie Makoko thank you